Hey everybody, take a look at what has been happening with images within Groove Pages today over the last day and a half really, but today it seems like it's settling out. I'm sure Dr. David Lemon will be coming soon with his update, but here we go. We're in Groove Pages and let's let's start by adding an image. So we're going to go down here and just grab an image, pull it over, and click on it and go to configure. This part looks pretty much as it did. So let's do choose. Let's go upload an image. And let's just go find something in our download folder. All right, a thumbnail. We're going to open it. And it's automatically uploading. Uh, we don't click the arrow or anything. It just automatically adds it to your account. So that's the first thing. The second thing is you'll note right here that this is kind of getting this highlight around it. That's how you know you have something selected. If you don't have anything selected, we can't continue. So we click it and then click select and it comes in and we click update just like we would have before. Now there are some other things. Uh, let's go in here and we'll just choose um, another image. So let's go down here to this image. Any image that we hover over, you can see those three dots pop up. So the three dots are now where we do several things. One, we can delete it, which is really nice to be able to just go through your library and delete ones simply, quickly that you don't want. Boom, deleted. There's no confirmation. It's just bring it up, delete. Okay, so that's kind of cool. The second thing we can do with the three dots is crop and resize. And so we can crop an image. This works so much nicer than the one we had before. Thank you, Groove, for that. We can crop it. You can see what it's going to look like over here. We can also resize it. So let's just go ahead and resize it and then hit crop and select. And it's going to give this warning message that it, it's not really a warning as much as an inf information. It says the image is still saved on our server, untouched in its original version. The cropped image is used only where you are place is, should say are placing it in the application canvas at this time. If you later want to use the image again, it will load in the original version off the server. So let's take a look. Let's go ahead and hit crop and select. And you can see now it's 250. Let's go ahead and update it. <clears throat> All right, so this is what it looks like here. But let's go say we want to use that image again. And we go hit choose. And we click on it. Let's take a look at it again with the crop. It's back to what it was before. So crop and resize are all here. And I'm going to let Dr. David tell us about the details of this other part. But from what I understand, with this update, Groove is now resizing our images to fit the space where they are. So our our sites are going to load faster. This the images will be a lot smaller. If you put in, you can put in a you know a 2300 by 2300 pixel image in there, which doesn't need to be in almost any cases doesn't need to be that size. And Groove is going to size it down to the largest it needs to be in order to be an effective image on the site. So a couple of my favorites. Here, here are my favorite things about this. One of my favorite things is that when we select an image to upload, it just uploads it. Done. It's selected. I'm not sure if I like not being able to see a preview of the image because some of these are wider, like this one here. And you can't see the entire image. I guess if you were to go here and go crop, you'd be able to see it. This is a tiny image. You'd be able to see the whole thing. So I'm not sure I'm all, I, I like that. But what I do like is we don't have to click this, select, and then select again. You click the image, click select, and it's added to your site. So some pretty cool things. Just wanted you to be aware because it looks a bit different than it did. Uh, a couple of features like cropping and resizing are in a different place and our upload and delete have become quicker and save us some clicks. All right, that is my update for today.